What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. The results are in. So how did I do after being on anclomaphene for four months straight and now I'm off 30 days. Actually, I'm off a little bit more at this point. So I did get my lab results in. I wrote them down for you guys. So, um, and then I'm gonna also post pictures as well of my different lab results. So here it is. Uh, firstly, back in June, uh, June 17th, I think that's when I started in clomiphene. That was the first um, for this project. Now I was doing 6.25 milligrams every other day. Um, at that time, when I got my levels tested, it was 1321. Okay, I did have a previous test to that, um, that was 533, and that was when I was off in clomiphene. So I have the 533, no in clomiphene, 1321, so almost triple by doing uh, every other day, 6.25 milligrams only. Now, the other thing is, um, let's move ahead to September 20th. So on September 20th, that's when I, um, I've been doing every other, or excuse me, every third day. So 6.25 milligrams every third day. And my testosterone levels at that time were 949. Uh, my steroid hormone binding globulin was 37. So um, interestingly enough, uh, that is the same today when I'm not on uh, inclomiphene. And the normal ranges for that is uh, 10 to 50. So it's a mid range, you know, pretty normal. Okay, so I got off in clomiphene about September 25th, and then I set my test for October 25th. So I had been off a full 30 days uh, at the time when I got my test. Now, my testosterone level was 595. It's a little bit higher than when I initially started, um, when, when my normal levels without in clomiphene were 533. So uh, I did see a little bit of an increase. Um, it, it will fluctuate. So. I could have another 533 reading if I got tested on another day. I could have above 600 if I get tested on another day. It does fluctuate, so, um, but that is still a good level. My estradiol, so a lot of you guys have been asking about my estradiol. My estrogen um, was essentially below 15, okay? And as you can see, uh, it's either, it has to be below 39. So it's a decent testosterone or estrogen level, um, not too high, kind of like lower mid range uh, there. My DHT, so that is dihydrotestosterone. Anytime you have the uh, excess of testosterone in the body, it can convert it into estrogen and DHT. DHT is the one that can make you bald and the one that can um, increase your prostate size. So uh, it can cause a lot of issues. But my DHT, uh, the normal range is 12 to 65 and I'm sitting at 41 right now, not on anything. Uh, I'm also gonna do these tests again. I do have an enclomaphene panel that I personally created with all of these specific tests that you can use by following my link. Go uh, into the comments. It's ultalabtest.com forward slash PT stew. So you can click on that link, go into the search bar, type in enclomaphene panel, and then that's gonna be what comes up. That's my personal one that I created. So that has testosterone, estradiol, DHT, uh, T4, which is thyroxin for your thyroid, and steroid hormone binding globulin. Uh, but back to T4, um, my T4 was 7.8. The normal range is 4.9 to 10.5. So it is um, a little bit higher than the average midpoint. So that's good. T4 is important for your metabolism, fat metabolism and such. Um, so uh, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. All in all, um, how did I feel coming off of enclomiphene? Um, I feel great. I feel the same. If I feel bad at all, it's probably because of my diet. More recently, I've been eating bread, which has helped me put on um, a little bit more muscle size uh, with that. However, uh, I've noticed that I haven't been feeling generally well with that, the bread aspect of it. So I am going to switch back to three pounds of ground beef a day. I did feel really good on that. And this is going to be temporary. And I am trying to reduce my body fat a little bit more. So I'm, uh, that's kind of my goal next. And um, as far as mus muscle gain, so I do have, I was tracking that. During the time where I was using enclomiphene every other day, uh, I also did LGD. I'm gonna do a video on that. My, while well, I did my video on that, you can actually see I went up about close to uh, a four point, or it was like four pounds of muscle close, like I think maybe a little even closer to five. Um, but after I came off of the LGD, uh, I continued with the enclomaphene. And my muscles 
uh, muscle, uh, skeletal muscle mass went down as tested by um, my in-body assessments. But I kept getting stronger with my workouts. I kept getting stronger. So that kept going up, but my muscle size, skeletal muscle mass kept going down. Um, so I, what I figured out was that it was just related simply to the amount of calories that I was consuming. And once I started consuming more calories again, I actually even put on an additional 1.8% lean body mass from the time that I did LGD. So um, that's a total of 5.5% increase over the course of, uh, let's see, since June. So uh, pretty much five months. And in the last 30 days, remember, I have not been on enclomiphene. I have not been on LGD. So it was simply related to the amount of calories and the intensity of my workouts that I was able to put on that extra uh, mass. Now, do I think that enclomiphene will help you to build more muscle? Absolutely. There are other factors, obviously. You do need to be working out intensely enough and regularly enough, and also you need to have a high enough calorie intake. If you're not at a higher, high enough calorie intake, no matter if you're on test or whatever, you're just not gonna build because you don't have the building blocks there. Your resting metabolism has a certain rate that it burns calories, whether you're working out or not. So if your uh, BMR, basal metabolic rate, is at 2,000 a day, that's just what you're burning while you're resting, well, you need more calories than 2,000 calories so that you can be in an anabolic state to build muscle. So yes, and clomiphene, I feel it definitely helps with strength and um, musculature, but you definitely need other components as well. So that's it for my video today, guys. Um, my next video is going to be uh, and clomiphene one time per week. Right now, I'm currently doing that. I'm tracking my progress with that. So I'll be putting that video pretty much next month. And I'm also going to get that same enclomiphene panel done, which you can get too. Just follow my link in the comments below. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I appreciate all your emails and all your wonderful comments. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, bye.